the next question is how do you configure updates to SIS or LIS structures the answer is statistics group statistics group <clears throat> so what is the statistics group and where is it the statistics group is at four or five different places in sales the customer master has a statistics group the material master has a statistics group the item category has a statistics group the document type or or zor or quotation they have a statistics group <coughs> The most important statistics groups are the ones of the customer and material master. So if you go to the sales view, and in that there are four tabs, right? Sales, shipping, billing, partners. Go to the sales tab and all the way down below, you see a, a, um, a drop down called customer statistics group. The value could be one or a or there are a couple of predefined values if you want you can create your own predefined value similarly for the material master in the sales org to view there is a material statistics group this also is a single value field. It can take only one value and it can be configured any way. Like it's a free form. You can take one, two, three, four, five, or you can have an A or a B or a C, any single character. Same with item category and document type. Now what happens here is for a combination of sales org, distribution channel, division plus customer statistics group plus for example document type statistics group a parameter called an update group is determined so for us say 1000 uh, retail distribution channel division is uh, let's say computers pc F for uh, say gold customers which are identified with a particular statistics group and of course for a document let's say all customer facing documents say OR has a statistics group of A for that combination a particular update group say 012 or 0019 could be determined <coughs> and this update group is responsible to update the corresponding tables like if you want to update s066 table this update group that's determined based on the combination will determine the right table to update the best part of this is you don't have to do any of this in any typical project it's automatically configured by SAP out of the box and you would rarely have to touch it at least in the context of credit management but you have to understand that at the end of the day using a combination of these statistics groups an update group is determined and this update group is configured to update a table how the update happens is not much of a concern but the tables that it finally flows to is something that you'd have to remember because if you want to pull reports out of it or some such kind of a thing, you'd have to understand where these values are stored. <coughs>